Hey, what's up guys today in this video as you can see I'm going to show you a really cool 3d printer from Chinese company flying bear and Actually as you can see I have their latest module called ghost 5 so let's begin So, as you can see, it's quite interesting machine and at the same time it offers good features at reasonable price. So, in the next few minutes I am going to show you how this printer looks, what kind of build quality you can expect with this machine and of course how to use touch screen, how looks interface. Uh, what kind of printing quality you can expect and what programs you need to have to start printing. So basically, first of all, uh, this machine is more do-yourself machine and in my case it needs approximately one hour to assemble. But don't worry, it's not too hard. Everyone can do it really because uh, this Chinese company Flying Bear has prepared uh, videos step by step how to assemble this machine. And when you are done with assemble process, this is how this machine looks. So basically on the front side we have the touch screen and the space where the hot bed goes up and down. So this is how it looks from the above. Really, really cool 3D printer. On the right side of the machine, we have memory card slot and USB port. So basically, you can connect it by USB cable or you can use, like many people, just a SD card. On the left side of the machine actually we don't have nothing special except the company's logo. And on other side of the machine we have here power of on switch and port for cable for power cable. In the middle of the machine we have holder for filament and filament extruder. Okay, so basically really really nice combination. When we talk about uh, size of the machine I would say that it is something in the middle. It is not too big, but also at the same time it's not too small, something in the middle. So basically, as you can see, it will not take too much space on your working area. Uh, now, in the next few minutes, I am going to show you how to use touch screen. And later I am going to show you what kind of printing quality you can expect. You can also see how the printer works, but also what programs do you need to start printing modules. So this is how user interface looks on Flying Bear Ghost 5 3D printer. And as you can see, it's quite cool and colorful at the same time, basically it's quite easy to use. So basically with this button you can pre preheat for several different materials or you can ma manually adjust temperature. Also by clicking on this button below it's immediately cooling down the temperature. On the next button we can move the head in any direction. 1 millimeter, 10 or 0 0.1 millimeters. 
on the next it's for filament to load or unload filament with tools we can adjust leveling and the stop again we can low, lower the temperature to zero wi-fi settings if you have the module for wi-fi also temperature settings and language it offers several different languages and about this printer as you can see it is flying bear ghost 5 and for wi-fi it has built-in wi-fi so you basically you can establish wi-fi wireless connection with your router like mine number one and let's see printing so basically when you click on printing button you just need to select which file you want to start printing and that's it i uh, i have also clicked emergency but nothing happened so basically i don't know what is this button for but overall as you can see it's quite easy and user interface is very simple to use even for beginners also So basically this is the first printed module with this machine and in my experience I don't usually print bigger modules for the first time because I want to see if the process of printing goes well or not and in this case from the first time printing process was done amazingly good I am very satisfied with printing quality with this machine flying bear ghost 5 can offer good printing quality as you can see with normal settings the printing quality is very good so basically uh, this machine can be used also by professionals and also uh, average user overall i am very satisfied with printing quality.